What's up YouTube? Ivan Eskivi is here. Today I'll be talking about the Nolly Crook. One of my favorite tricks, I saw Laurel Gray from Skate Mafia do back in the day. Uh, people like Furby, Antoine Dixon, all my favorite skaters for doing a Nolly Crook. Um, first thing you want to learn is probably the Nolly. That's the most important thing of this trick. So uh, every skater is different. I've been told that I spread my feet out a lot. I don't know why, it's just I, something I'm comfortable with. But I'm trying to get myself to do front foot around this area for the Nolly Crook. Diagonal, back foot right before the bolts, back bolts. And simply just like an Ollie, put off the nose, pop the front foot, slide the back foot to level it out. That's the Nolly. Right here. Lift your legs up as high as you can. Get the nollie. That's why I don't want For the nollie crook, like I said, diagonal. You want, I would say your foot, all of your toes right here. This is how I do it. If you have it too much hanging off and you get onto the crook part, you know, you might have too much shoe and that could prevent you from sliding. Um, so like I said, just have your foot more on the board. Lock on, back foot's gonna be right here. Arms out. Your arms out to balance yourself. And once you get to the end, you're kinda gonna give it a little nudge. So kinda just be light footed, lift up, and just guide back. The thing with the Nolly Crook, it's a little tricky, cause if he comes too much at an angle, you're going more for a nollie back, backside board. So I would say just come parallel with it. And then when you're ready to pop into the trick, slightly go diagonal into it. Pop. Don't be afraid to get in and lean forward. I would say lean more forward than you want to do backwards because on some of those attempts you can slip out. You get injured. Uh, so once again, come parallel with it. Pop on, you might be afraid. That's okay, just get in. One thing you could do to get over that, that fairness is practice doing a nollie no side, you know. Same thing, but you're gonna turn your shoulders you're just getting the, the habit of bringing nollie to nose. Two different tricks. The thing with the nollie nose, your shoulders turn a little bit. With the crook, they don't. Your shoulders are gonna stay forward, parallel, pop, get in. And they don't turn much. You're just gonna be right here, both forward. Lean forward, you get to the end, nudge. It's a difficult trick to explain. And depending on how high the ledge is, you might have to nollie higher. So I hope that helps. Keep practicing. Um, maybe try a few nollie back 50s just to know you got the height down. But the only thing with the crook, so you're gonna have to lean forward, and it's a little diagonal. Uh, that's as much as I can explain for the Nolly Crook. Um, let me know if I did a bad job. I don't, I don't know. It took me a while to learn, but I know you guys can do it. So like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you have any tips, advice, or anything I should have done, or if this works for you. You guys have a nice day.